I created the Optic Dashy Challenge. Optic Dashy put on a show versus Atlanta Face, dropping a CDL season record 41 eliminations. Damn! But this challenge is harder than simply just getting 41 eliminations while using the Dashy class setup. I also have to earn a cruise missile, get five or more multi kills, and on top of all that, I have to win the game. This is the story of how I beat the Optic Dashy Challenge. So I loaded up CDL Mosh Pit and started searching for a game. Then I started frying. This was my first game on and I already started feeling good. I started off with a two piece and I just kept that going. At the end of the game, I got two back to back two pieces on this last A point and this was the call game. This was the last kill of the game. Then on this, look at this crazy two piece. The next game, ooh, that was nasty. And I ended up just carrying the momentum and going absolutely ooh. insane. This game, I thought I could have got it because I was getting so many multis. But unfortunately, if you look at the score, we're winning by like 150 points. And yeah, that game ends way too quick. In this Mercado, bro, I get a triple kill on this side. It is tied, it's a close game. I'm thinking if I keep this pace up, I'm gonna go nasty. This is insane find all three on the point someone whiffs a pistol shot on me and i get the whole squad bro and this is the game this is the first game where i thought i was actually gonna get it this game i end up dropping like 30 something but i start off so hot this is like five kills off the rip i'm gonna think someone's in the window and i peek it i see him and i beam him i was beaming in this game unluckily got smoked right there beaming across map like the dashy and I'm rotating, find this free guy. Then I find this guy on the rotation again. I was playing this part smart. The kitchen spawns, ooh. I was going insane right here. I really thought I was gonna get it this game. Okay, 41, just get 41, that's all I need to do. Right there, I just said, I need to get 41 right here. That's all I need to do. And like I said, I was frying. But if you look at the score, we're up like 60 points. We need this game to be closer. And bro, I was twisted. Unluckily, did not get any of those. Beam this guy. The dude's gonna come mid a cut. Free kill right there. Easy. No. And then I get traded. This hill I was finessing. Got two. Weak. And then I'm gonna peek outside again when I win inside. And this stun. I thought I was gonna get three here. I lay down, get this guy. And teammate just unfortunately got that guy. If I didn't get so many assists this game, I literally could have got the 41 in this game and completed the challenge. But ooh. No, why did I do that? I just need a close game, man. Now, I even got a triple kill in Search and Destroy. What the fuck? I suck. And in this next match right here, I thought I was going to get the 41 as well. No way I lost that. He's using the M4? What is he doing? Yeah, that man was using the M4, but look at what I just do to him right after. Ooh, I heard the M4 shoot at me. M M4'd up. Shit on, bad. That's a triple kill I needed too. Yeah, world oh, starred. World starred the M4. I saw this dude jump in the water a little bit earlier. I just cut it out. There we go. This is a nice little snap on. Okay. Ooh. This is kind of insane. This is long range beams. Oh, I need that second kill. And then I end up getting one last double oh kill. But unfortunately, the game ended at like five seconds right after that double kill. I was frying, but unfortunately, all those games were ending too early until it finally happened. This is the game where I beat the Dashy Challenge on a CeeLo control, but off the start, I was able to find the first blood for my team, but after that, we start getting smoked, and I end up just getting four kills this round, and you'll see right here, this is where we lose. This dude just three pieces us, and gets me, just world stars me at the end. One nil down. My team was so down bad that it just ended up eliminating me off the start, which is the most toxic thing ever. But at the start of the round, I'm able to find one kill. This dude's going to run straight into me. And then from that, I'm going to rotate behind A. I make a nice little read. Someone died from the dude top tower. I don't know why I didn't shoot straight away, but I snapped on that dude. And it allows me to get pushed up near their spawn. So I'm able to see this guy. Easy free kill, like literally just spawn trap him. Which allows me to get pushed up in this little spawn building, which gets me another free kill. And then I'm gonna flank the B point. And this is where I choke. Like I had all four of them. I was behind all four of them. I just kind of choked there and I try to repinch and I just get shut down. Luckily I spawn, get a free kill off the spawn. That dude kind of 
didn't want to shoot at me for some reason. And right after that, I hit through top A and found me a free kill, but got traded instantly. So now I'm on defense, they're gonna hit an A, and I find almost two of them, but that was a good play that allowed them to slow them down a little bit, or that could have been bad. So I went back top A again, I'm gonna be up there a lot, just get a free kill, and this lets me set up for this insane spawn trap. This is where I go crazy, get two, know the third one's on the point, fry him for a double kill, that's one of the double kills I need, and then this dude is just, I just caught him with his pants down, I guess he wasn't expecting me to be there. So now it's a... 8v2 on the point. I'm just gonna wait because I don't want to over chow and somehow get 2v8. So I find this free kill and I'm waiting for teammate just to make sure that we get this dude for free. And he ends up finding him. So that ties the game at 1 1 apiece. And remember, I have to win. And we end up hitting A off the start like you should. And I end up finding this dude that tries to jump up top A. And then I get killed by someone spawning up on their team, which is very unlucky. We end up hitting B and I find the first blood for it. And then I know teammate just died to someone, so I find the second guy, and this allows us to get onto the B point. And also my team allows me to get pushed up in their spawn to keep them back a little bit. And I'm able to find this guy up top with teammates live ping, which was huge. And then I realized that someone killed my teammate off B and is on it, but he got off. So I'm like, where is he? Find him instantly and kill him. And that allows us to basically capture the B point for free. I capture it and I go back running backwards, but I end up cutting back in through their bottom a and finding one and then i'm gonna go back my side a just to play with their head or to help my teammates out and i end up making a good play here with the ads i know someone's tower i'm one off a cruise missile and i find the cruise missile that i needed for the challenge now they called in a cruise missile of their own which allowed me to get pooped on by this guy but teammate makes a good play finds one but he dies and that ends up being the death of the round i end up finding this dude up top and i get instantly traded by this guy which sucks, so we're probably gonna lose this round. It's a 2v12. I try my best, I get a double kill right here with teammate, but the timing was bad, I get killed by the third guy and we lose that round. Which is actually fine for me, cause I need to make a comeback, which allows me to get more kills. Our team just starts slaying them out, gets all four dead off the start, and I'm able to find a quick double piece off the start of the round in their spawn. I end up starting reloading and getting killed by this guy, which is unfortunate. He just spawned on me. They're hitting B, cleared them off B when I spawned up. This allowed me to get pushed up in their soccer field and found this free dude, which is the dude using the G8 smokes. And then I find another two piece, well actually a three piece if you count my teammate, but I got hyped a little bit right there. Ended up calling in the cruise missile cause I thought they were gonna get a foothold on B, but teammates end up smoking them off B. So I find this dude all the way in the back stairs, which just allows me to know that they're gonna probably hit A off spawn. So I use this nade. It, it causes a little glitchy smoke, which lets me to see through the smoke. I chow that and there's two of them, makes it awkward. I make a good play here. I make a crazy read on this guy and I ended up knowing that my teammate was gonna get this dude to the left. Sealing the round win and making it a 2-2 tie into the last round. I told my team we have to hit A, it's just a smart thing to do. Able to flank all the way through and I'm able to find this dude trying to flank our A and end up finding him, which is a good play. And then I play my life right here, let teammate get this dude off the point for me. And then we just basically win the point. Teammate dies right here, but I see his teammate. This dude's gonna be one shot. I'm just gonna keep pre firing until I get him. And this is gonna allow me to finesse. I try to get in their spawn, but the dude goes top hill and ends up frying me, so I can't spawn trap, which is a good play from him, but teammate finds the trade. Now I spawned up, and this is for the 41st kill. End up getting it, and that is just confidence I need. So now I know that I can do anything right here. I need to play for B, but I. End up just corner camping right here, find a free kill, which allows me to get pushed up and all the way back into their patio where I find a free kill and this starts the comeback. And I end up getting into this little corner and I thought I threw right here. I end up throwing my life away and this is terrible because this gives us no pressure on the point. And teammate finds a big kill, but he's gonna get traded instantly. Now we only have 18 seconds to get to the point and on the rip, they get a kill. This dude's gonna find two more on the other team so this, we're really 2 v 4 in for the point now. I find one, teammate dies, it's just me, basically right now. I kill this guy and teammate ends up finding one dude to the left and now we're on the point. It's 7-7, seven, seven. they have one push at it now and we find this dude up top. This is, that was a huge kill. And now I'm just found going off instincts. Whenever I'm on this B point, someone always flanks from right here. So I'm just holding it and it ends up being the winning move because this dude comes here, gets no aim assist because of the thing, and we end up just winning the round and winning the control with 46 kills, completing the dashy challenge where I had five 
double kills and also i did get that cruise missile now these in detail stats are actually pretty insane i ended up dropping 46 kills in 20 deaths for like a 2.3 kd and i also got 31 percent accuracy with the scar that is insanely high thank you for watching to the end of the video leave a like if you liked the video also hit that subscribe button for more content like this also comment below if you like this video i was trying something new and if you want to watch another video I suggest this one right here. It's just about the most unique class setup that a pro uses in Modern Warfare 2. See ya.